Ambidex. Oh god. Ambidex game, really? Oh. Oh. The reactor. This nuclear reactor automatically supplies electricity for years without any extra input. How do you know all that? I read it in the manual that's right over there. What? You, you don't think Zero plans to lock us in this shelter for years and years, do you? That's not funny. No, it's not. But it is entirely possible. It's pointless. I checked it already. Damn. That means we're trapped. It's the new year. 22 years since Maria was born. Never thought there'd be a time I couldn't wish her Happy New Year. This is the worst year ever. Is she your girlfriend? No. She's my little sister. She, uh, fell ill ten years ago and was admitted to the hospital. Yeah. I figured she'd be lonely in there, so I always stop by after work. Ah, uh, um, that's... Every good morning and good night was so important to us. Yeah, because she could die any now, second. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Happy New Year, Junpei. What, what's with you all of a sudden? I wanted to say that to you for ten years, but I couldn't. You say it now, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. Happy New Year to you At too. Least give her a proper response. You're her boyfriend, right? No, no I am not. She's she's just a childhood friend, really. And here I thought you were dating. Carlos. Whoops. I'm sorry if I made things awkward. <laughs> I just wanted to learn how you guys were connected. The. You know, the best way to build teamwork is to know who your partners are. How like a firefighter. Yeah. <sighs> well, well, leave it at that for now. Okay, we can't hang around here like this forever. Let's find a way out. Seek the way out. So good news, Akane is not actually dead. Uh, bad news, we might actually end up blowing ourselves up. Either way, we are in it for the long haul. This looks like the control panel for the reactor. Power's not on. This is a keyhole, right? Do we have anything that would fit? Ugh! Ugh! What the hell? It's not budget! I see a keyhole down here. We probably need a key before we can pull it. I think this is a gas heater. But there's no fire! Maybe the gas isn't connected. These are really great to have during the winter. What is... This is what, a door? There's nothing inside. No clues as to what it's for. This valve is shut off. It's shut right now. Then how do we open it? Valve's open right now. That's fine for now. We don't really need to close it. There's a door, but nothing inside. I wonder what it's for. Hmm, it's locked. I can see a rectangular metal object through the glass door. We might be able to use it, but question is, how do we open this locker? Looking at it, this must be the power switch for the locker. There are two lights, one to the left and the other at the bottom. Neither are on. Flipping the switch does nothing. I bet the power's not coming through. It's 
locker isn't opening. Maybe it'll unlock if we direct the power to here. Odd, water isn't coming out. Maybe the valve's closed. Or it's just broken. Oh! Something's on the ground. Box of matches. What would happen if we turn the switch on? It's too dangerous, Carlos. We'd get shocked. It's not leaking or anything, but it's too risky to chance. Let's turn it off. This would fit on the drain, don't you think? How about that? Perfect. Hey, it looks like we can change the switch on this locker. Gas valve on the wall is shut. Let's open it then. La 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 la. It's not lighting. Maybe because there's no gas? Let's check the main valve and the pipe connected to it. Gas valve is open. Yeah, you don't need to close it, Akane. Opening and closing these things is kind of fun. The wires are exposed. This is dangerous. We should be alright as long as there isn't a current going through. Never pull the plug while the machine's in use. I hear that all the time as a kid. Why is this drainage ditch uncovered? I have no idea. It's a very strange design. Water could just splash right now. It's an odd choice with all these machines around. This is the main gas valve. It's shut right now. Let's open it. You open the gas valve so there should be gas. Just gotta light it. Let's hurry. Maybe it's locked? That's true, then how do we open it? Hmm. What's this big screen for? No idea. No way to tell either way since it's off. Let's come back after the power's on. So that's a nuclear reactor. It's way high tech. What's that circular thing in the middle? It's at the center of the reactor. The core, maybe? So is this the power distribution level? I think so. Moving the lever should change where the power is directed. Lights aren't on. The power not on? Slider. Maybe it's a switch for the power distribution panel. Let's push it. Bottom light's on. The locker down there should open. This is a block of tin. Okay. The light is on at this locker switch. Now we just need to change it. And now the lit light switched. 
power must have rerouted with the moving of the switch. Oh, I think we can open this now. It's an extinguisher. The label says freezing fire extinguisher. A freezing fire extinguisher? It'll freeze things lickety split. Uh, what? Why are you pointing that at me, Junpei? Uh, no reason. Just curious. You just wanted to see how she'd react, did you? Ah, the smell is definitely... Yep, gas. It's connected all right. Then we need only to start a fire here and the heater will... Nice. That went well, I think. It's a lot easier to examine the room when it's warmer. your hands if you try turning it like that. The valve's frozen shut. We need to figure out how to melt the ice. A locked locker. A rectangular metal object sits inside. Oh, I think we can open this locker. Oh, it's this thing again. That's about right. Oh! I mean, it looks fine to me. Oh, wait, no, this, this part's not... So this part doesn't match. Shit. Now it matches. Nice. Solved it somehow. All right, Carlos. There's something inside. Take. Let's take a look. A sink plug. A sink plug. So does that mean you put it in the sink, right? It's too big to shove up your nose, at least. I can't think of anywhere else to use it. Power switch for the locker. Let's see what happens when we turn it. Oh, the light changed. The power's going where the switch is pointed. I think we can open this now. steel mold. Doesn't it look like it makes a key shape? You're right. It really would make a cute Castella. Pretty sure it's not for baking cakes. Where could we use this? I think the plug can fit in here. Oh, look, look, look. It fits super well. Yay. This cutesy thing's kind of creeping me out, Akane. Ah, I guess the plug was meant to be used here. Fit perfectly. The water's coming out. There are two possible reasons. Either the main valve is shut or it doesn't work. Whoa, the power cords for this control panel are sticking out. They're extended into the drains. It'll be pretty dangerous if water gets in close. I think this is the cover for the drain outlet. It's in the way lying on the floor like that, so let's put it where it belongs. Hey, and it just fits, as we thought. The open air drainage dish. I wonder why. Hey, this tin block could fit this hole here. It fits perfectly. 
No reason to take it out. May as well leave it. Steel mold fits in the hole here. It's just the right size. We'll just leave it there then. Wonder what happens if we close this. You guys hear something? The light over here was red and now it's green. Maybe that maybe that means the furnace door on the top is unlocked. Ugh, the smell. It's gas. Seems like it's flowing through. So if we start a fire in the furnace, we'll be able to use the heater. There's a door, but nothing inside. I wonder what it's for. Oh look! Looks and feels like the fire's lit. Nice! Did you hear a sound below? Let's take a look. Ah, something's in here. He made of tin. It's pretty delicate, decently made, too. Probably used what somewhere in this room. Well, guess we need to find a hole that'll fit it. This key. I think it'll fit in this keyhole. Oh, it fits perfectly. Maybe we can pull the lever now. The key's in. I'm ready to pull the lever on your command. Why do you look so happy about this, Junkei? Too much anime? That does look like a lever that can control a giant robot. Whoa, that's an odd reference. You like to watch those too, Carlos? I like machines. My sister's not a fan, but she enjoys watching almost anything on TV. You truly love your sister, don't you? And now we're off topic. I'm pulling it. What? The reactor turbine! Looks like the shields came down. Okay, so now what? Oh, I think we can turn the valve now! The ice around it is melted. Now if we just put some back into it... Aha! The valve is open! And now we have water. Sink's plugged. Now to turn on the water. Oh my, it's blowing over the side! Drainage ditch is right below it, though. Don't slip and fall now. Do you really... Do I really seem that clumsy to you, Junpei? You can be absent-minded. No one's 100% perfect, right? Mimi. You turn the water on. It'll overflow and go into the drainage ditch. Ditches are full of water. Turning the power on now will... Hey, look! The monitor's over there turned on. The trains are acting like power cords. I would have never believed this would work. Yeah, but we've no clue how long it'll last. Let's get to examining while we have power. Oh, look at the monitor! Well, these shapes are weird. Maybe it's a puzzle? I'm guessing we need to solve this next. Let's take a look. Oh, it's one of these stupid things. Okay. Nope, it won't work. Didn't think so. Yay, I did it! Hey, I think we did it. Oh boy. The core lit up. And now it's spinning. The monitor on the side turned on too. Well, let's see what it says. Oh good god. Well, got the power on. Now what? I don't know. But we should be able to fo use this at least. 
let's get started. Aha! All the lasers are hitting the center target now. Does this mean the reactor core will be hit with radiation as well? Nope. Or maybe. Oh boy. If we freeze the drainage ditches with the extinguisher. Thank goodness. Disaster averted. And the lights are turning back on. Hooray! And it looks like we got out. Oh, hey, the door over there opened. Should we check it out? What? Uh? Connie? Ooh! top layer of the ice melted. She stepped in the water. Akane! Akane, come on, wake up! Oh, fuck. That's not good at all. She's okay. She's just unconscious. Her breathing and pulse are normal. Oh, thank fuck. I see. Now announcing the current casualty. In the vote. No, we can't be sure all of Q-Team was really killed. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Y you're right. We need to focus on getting out of here somehow. Um, you seem to be forgetting that the exit's still locked. Well then, all we can do is go into that room. I guess so. What the hell is this thing? Oh god, it's the AB game! Fuck! Akane? She's laying down outside. The, the, the hell is this? No clue. Something's up on the monitor, though. Rules of the AB game. Yeah. Players Carlos and Junpei stand before the monitor and vote to either A, ally, or B, betray. You must vote at the same time. If the timing is off, everyone within the shelter will be executed. Both of you will start with 3 BP. This number will change based on the voting results. If both choose ally, both gain 3 BP. If both choose betray, all BP points remain the same. If Carlos chooses ally and Junpei chooses betray, Carlos loses 3 BP while Junpei gains 6. If Carlos chooses Betray and Junpei chooses Ally, Carlos gains 6 BP while Junpei loses 3 BP. When either player's BP reaches 9, the exit door will unlock. If your BP drops to 0, you will be executed. Method of Execution The bracelet will administer a muscle relaxant into your bloodstream. In this way, you will at least receive a peaceful death. Beware, others will share the same fate as you. If Carlos dies, Diana and Sigma will die as well. Oh. If Junpei dies, Akane and Five will die. Make your choice carefully. Oh fuck. Share the same fate. Oh boy. If I die, Akane and Phi die too. And Diana and Sigma are killed if I die. Ah, damn! How far is Zero going to go with his toying with us? Okay, so easy, easy thing. We just ally. We ally. Betray. We just keep allying. Well, what will it be, Carlos? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? We ally. We choose ally twice. 
We'll add six additional points to our initial three, and we'll both end up with nine BP. No one dies, no one gets hurt. Yeah, there you go. The exit door will open, and C Team will be able to get out. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, just don't be an There's asshole. There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? Zero's aiming for us to kill ourselves off here. All right. Hey, um, before we do this, do you mind if we check on Akane? Yes. Go for it. This girl here, she's always been really smart. If she thinks the tiniest thing is off, she'll start debating with buts and ifs, like, like someone at least twice her age. But to all of us, back in grade school, she was pretty strange. Well, I, I guess she came across as scary. Did she get bullied a lot? Probably, yeah. No. Oh, no. It was just, well, not many people wanted to be friends. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I decided that I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her, if I could. Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. Yeah, I remember she that. She didn't take it well. No, she didn't. So, without telling me or the teachers, she went to their hutch, crying and, and apologizing over and over to them. To the rabbits? <laughs> That was over 10 years ago. Uh, a memory that's been tucked away in my brain, covered in dust. <laughs> when I saw her again last year, I was, I was reminded of that time. I just can't not keep an eye on her. I, I know, she always goes and <laughs> just quietly shoulders everything herself. That's why I want to protect her. I wanted to help her bear whatever weight she's taken up. I truly felt that. But, well, I don't know. It was like, it was like I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. Hell, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I even cared. I wanted to find out more about who she really was. To go and, and see her. Come on, you, you have someone you really care about, don't you? My sister. You mean my sister? Yeah. Yeah. Carlos's my sister. died in a fire. And then Maria fell ill to an incurable disease. Above anything else, I want to save her. I want to see her smile like before. That's what I decided. That's why. Ah, now I get it. That's why you need the $500,000. Uh, mm. It's clear we both have someone we want to protect. So let's work together. And neither of us can afford to die now. Right. So work together. So let's get out of this room by both picking ally. We'll work on getting out of this shelter after that. Okay, let's get this over with. Yeah. Back to the room for us. Junpei, don't screw me. Don't get the timing wrong, okay? We have to enter them at the same time to... I know. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one... Don't screw me, Junpei. All votes have been received. Results will be displayed on the monitor. Okay. No! Ah! Junpei, why? What the? 
Why? You just killed Diana and Sigma. Sorry. There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? You said that. But you forgot, Carlos. There actually was something. What? What are you? The three and Q team, currently dead. The X door will be able I to I see. Opened. Sure. Fuck. The same fate. That's right. If you die, Diana and Sigma will die as well. No. So then, you... Don't take it the wrong way. I didn't choose Betray so I could escape. I know you'd do anything for the little sister you love. So that's why I figured you'd choose to push Betray yourself. So... Essentially, it was a defensive move. And you got it wrong. I... I only wanted to protect Akane and Fai. Uh, huh? Junpei... Carlos? There's a Japanese saying, Assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means... You should never trust strangers so easily. Fucking hell. Well, shit. Is this going to be one of those situations where I choose Betray and he's going to choose Ally because he trusted me and I'm going to feel like an absolute asshole? Okay, asshole. Let's play. All votes have been received. Results will be displayed on the monitor. Yep. Called it. Fucking. No. Why? You piece of shit! You tricked me! No! No! I didn't! I swear! It was because the last time we voted, you yep. chose Betray! Yep! There we go! So I, the hell are you going on about? We've only done this once! The morphogenic field. Fuck! <laughs> and Akani's dying too. Hey! Are you okay, Junpei? Wake up! It's all your. I. You're the one who killed me first! What? What is going on? How. do I even know about it last time? Uh huh. Junpei's right. This shouldn't be the first time. So, why do I think there was another one? Because there was another one. Japanese saying, assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means you should never trust strangers so easily. This is, this is like, ah, when I'm on a fire. Yeah. Maybe I, does this mean I've somehow been Yeah, I deserved that. How dare you! How dare you kill Junpei! Uh, your fate is the same as his. Oh. Fuck. Stop! He's already dead! I just can't fucking win! Jesus Christ! <laughs> but then doesn't her bracelet affect her too?
Wait a minute. So, okay, yeah, there we go. Never mind. I thought they lied for a second. Well, shit. Oh. Oh, this is new. Because we've got both outcomes. Uh, am I going to be able to talk Junpei out of this? Did she get bullied a lot? Oh, no. it put us back to it here. Was just, well, not many people wanted to be friends. Yep, there we go. Where? You okay? Is... Is this before the A-B game? What? Okay... He just shifted, uh, dude. Should I keep going? Y yeah. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side there we go. to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch crying and apologizing over and over to them. You forgot the part where he picked a fight with them. How, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Nope. No. You did. Then why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Fine. I guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No Hold on. Wait. We need to be on the same page. Something's weird. Hello, hot calling kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Junpei? Carlos? Let's talk about this. Ah, oh, I think I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is... is that...? The power we used a year ago? Yep. The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying me here right now came from a different history? Yep. Well, your consciousness at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met, using a car as a time machine. Know what movie I'm talking about? Back to the Future. Uh, yeah, of course I do. The high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yes, the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him M. Marty. Now, according to the plot, He's successful at getting his parents to marry, but history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh, I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. But, did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Good question. Huh. Well, now that you mention it. Huh. I, I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. Exactly. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. So... Meaning someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. Yep. Moniverse theory. The other type 
is where multiple histories exist. Multiverse theory. This is the many worlds interpretation. One of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, so back to the movie. First, let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder? Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house, let's call him M2. Marty 2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh? But the history that disappeared was poor M's. Yeah. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But the only memories that M retained was from poor M. Ah, are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten, all because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Kind of, yeah. Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. What happens so, to him? Where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Likely back to M1. Where he went? This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? Yep. It would keep everything <clears throat> consistent. That's depressing. What is? Uh, M2's situation. Well, why? He ends up getting the bum end of the deal, regardless of which scenario happens. Depends on his perspective. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But depends on perspective. Uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Because you just did Your it. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally is dead. No. Yep. Another me is in the other history? Yep. Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. Which means all of the times he cheated death in the fires. But wait, Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just sort of knew, too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it. Though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. No, it was Reverie Syndrome. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, 
Or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Then she's like us. Yeah. Yes. Though it's slightly different. I saw that head j in Maria's jump case, up. That power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Is that true? I see. That's good. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. That's how I was able to save her. Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! Maria! Maria, is that you? Just stay there! I'm coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. Mm. But I realized exactly where she was. And She's a transmitter. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires. And he's a receiver. To my death. This, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So... Carlos, Junpei. You're gonna stop being assholes? Shall we shift? Huh? What? There's really no reason to play the AB game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick Ally. Uh huh. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll work! The three of us will definitely be able to do it! But. Only if we find our lives in danger. What, what do you mean by danger? Well, there's an electrical current running right now through water. Oh. Oh, I see. I see where this is going. Okay. We're all insane. Hey, uh, uh, uh Connie? Hmm? You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. But this, this is absolutely nuts. Yeah. Even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up... Do you plan on dying here then? Oh. <laughs> so, where do we need to jump to? Um, you didn't think that's for well, you. You didn't consider that part. Well, if we knew in advance, the effect of the threat would be lessened. You're not affected by any of this at all, are you? I've done it's it funny times. Here, look. My heart's pounding so fast. You want to check it? <laughs> uh, hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. Yeah, it is. I'd rather just play the AB game. Uh, shit! Okay, uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Jump to the same history I am. The same history? Which one? Think! There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Are you insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed! It's okay. I have a plan. We're gonna keep, just keep jumping? Alright. I trust you, Junpei. Oh, you better not ah, fuck us it. over. Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, one, shit. Boom. Game over?